Hello fellow questers, it is I, Earn the Book Quester. Today I'll introduce you to this, to these two awesome books. Firestar and the Fire Eternal, both by Crystal Lacey. The book three and four of The Last Dragon Chronicles. So, I have already done the book quester episode of the first book and the second book will come soon after. Well, well, let's start with Firestar. A delighted David Rain, a tenant of the Penny Kettle household, has won the prize and the privilege of finally getting to go on an Arctic expedition with, uh, with the great with the great Dr. Bergstorm, Shaman, which is uh, the leader of an Inuit of an Inuit tribe men and can turn and sometimes uh, Thoran, the oldest bear ever lived, the first polar bear to ever walk the ice and, and it's kind of unclear and foggy and mysterious of what exactly um, Dr. Bergstrom is but well some things you could do without and and uh, and uh, David is having his uh, Bicky Bicky romance with Z Susanna Martindale, also known as Zana, who is related to the Sybil, the evil Sybil, the evil Sybil, and and uh, which is the name which has the name of Gulana. And in the last book, Gulana had tried to bring life to Grockle, a, a, a monstrous dragon-ish thing, hybrid thing. And she was gonna do something very evil, but alas! But then they, she, she was stopped, and uh, by David Ray. And this time, her plan is to raise, uh, uh, the last dragon on uh, to ever walk the earth, Gawain. And in doing so, Gawain will, well, will breathe on um, gigantic fire, and the ice caps will melt, and the world will end, and things will be better all around and it will be best if Gawain is dead and stayed that way I mean I mean it's not that the dragon is bad I mean dragons are really good especially in the Penny Kittle household but it's just that well he is kind of they're kind of disruptive and all kind of shake the world around and and Lucy Pentecostal has been has been taken abducted by Golana to in turn to put her evil plan to motion, and there the and David in turn learns the mysterious connection between the bears, the uh, the polar bears, the fire tear, and so on. And the book above, and the book has a devastating end with David presumed dead and Zana in tears. That's the end of the first, the third book, and let's go straight into the fourth one. The Fire Eternal. I got this from the library. Well, the thing is the uh, thing is it starts actually the setting is five years later. Damn it, five years later, after David Rain has disappeared, and his book, Ice Fire, that he had written in Firestar, and uh, a saga of polar bears, and it has, a, as has a message that tells people to save polar ice caps, and another thing, oh, oh, yeah. And also Snigger, and the nut beast that uh, that has become a bestseller and a family favorite. It starts with Zana, who has, who now has a daughter named Alexa, and the, and they have and Liz and Zana has given up hope that David that David is alive. They think David has drowned or has been stabbed through by a, uh, has been stabbed or dead or whatever. In Firestar, I actually forgot to mention, it is known that there is, there is a thing, there are things called the Fane. And the Fire Eternal, it is revealed that there is a, 
interdimensional, more evil kind of thing. The Fane are good, but there is another kind of thing called the Ix. And the Ix is truly evil, and they want to raise a new kind of dragon that will kill the world. And to breed these new kind of dragons, they need Earth. And to raise the dragons, the evil anti-dragon dragons, um, they have to destroy the Earth, which is, you know, bad. So, David and and the only one who believes that David Rain is alive is Lucy Pennycuttle, the stubborn young redhead. That's that. But uh, right now, David Rain is actually alive, and he is combined in the body of Ingvar, the great leader Nanu Papik. I mean. It's kind of hard to say, but the, which means the, the great bear and the leader and the lord of the ice. And uh, he is one with the great Ingvar. And he is led by the, he is led by the Tale of Rays, a, a, a fighting bear. And he's about to open a, 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 a well to the fire eternal to stop the X from, from making their from completing their evil plan. And there's much more complicated details that I cannot explain. I mean, maybe if I read it like five times more, I'll get it more, more, more. but it, it's kind of so fuzzy. I mean, there are some things that I don't understand, and sometimes I just wonder, wow, Chris Lacey. I mean, that guy, how does he, it's like the situation is so real and it's so mysterious. I mean, it's it's really a good fuzzy story, and and uh, really interesting that the this both these books have dragons and they say that dragons are made out of clay. Number one, number two, dragons are the servants of Gaia, the Earth Goddess, whose origins are from the great. Greek mythology and dragons uh, come from an entire different branch of mythology so that's kind of interesting in my opinion and they're both an awesome thrill ride of a read I actually could not put my hands off them I am right I'm currently reading Darkfire the next book of the series and I promise you a good old book quester soon enough and like always, your bookwester and the bookwester, the a delightful read.